let's get straight to FPL because I feel like we've not talked about it much in recent weeks. Now, a lot of managers are actually using their wild cards this week because there are a lot of players who are getting injured, a lot of players who are coming out of nowhere and getting some fantastic points. I'm also doing my wild card and I want to share it with you to show you what a team could look like. So if you look at my wild card right now, my goalkeepers, I have Ariola and Turner. They are both 4.1 million and I think they are both very cheap budget goalkeepers that you can rotate. West Ham get a lot of clean sheets. I know Turner's not been playing great for Forest, but two goalkeepers at 4.1 million, you can rotate based on the fixtures. Now my bench, Cash, he is a must because he's almost playing as a winger sometimes for Villa. Trippier, a lot of people were taking him out of the side, but he's averaging 6.6 .6 points per match. So you need him in your side. Now Simicast, I would put him straight back in because he is going to be getting a lot more games, a lot more assists as well. He likes to take corners. Destiny Doggy has to be in there as well at 4.9 million. He's a starter for Spurs and he's playing some great football, getting some assists as well. I've put Jamel Lascelles in the team because he's only 3.9 million and due to injuries at the back, I could see him picking up some points. Now my midfield, Saka, he has to be in there. Madison, he simply has to be in there. Salah, I only just put him in my team. A lot of fantasy players didn't want him in their side, but recently he's been getting all kinds of points. So I feel like you have to break the bank and just put him in the side because he could score a hat-trick one week and you could be missing out on all those points. Now, my two other midfield options are slightly cheaper, but they can get lots of points. Palmer from Chelsea, he is on penalty duty. He's only five million. He's a starter at the moment for Chelsea, so I'd, I'd take a gamble on him if I were you. Douglas Luiz as well, he's slightly overtaking Diaby when it comes to points this season. He's been getting a lot of points for Aston Villa on FBL. Now my strikers up front, of course, you can't not have Haaland in your team. If you haven't got Haaland in your team, um, I think you're probably going to be in the bottom half of FPL. Ollie Watkins is a given, and Antonio, I think, He's a good little shout at 5.8 million. So yeah, that is my FBL team. I hope I get some points this weekend. 